So, uh, a few weeks ago, I did Upfest, the uh, Europe's largest live painting street festival. In the planning for that, uh, doing lots of mashup ideas, and what I went for in the end was uh, Daenerys and uh, Peach Dragon Elliot. Go watch the video, see the painting here. <laughs> Through that process, I was kind of battling between that and another idea. The other idea being Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz with Iron Man instead of Tin Man. Tin Man is the uh, character who has no heart, kind of like Iron Man if you watch the first movie. So the idea I wanted to do for this live painting was Dorothy putting the oil into uh, Iron Man instead of Tin Man. That idea in the end I vetoed because I think it was going to be too complicated. Iron Man quite lifeless and Dorothy's got his checkered dress which would have been a nightmare. That, that idea has been nagging in my head. I've been thinking I really want to do it. I want to get it out there. So that's what this video is. There's going to be acrylic, spray, ink, normal stuff on canvas. A big canvas, 40 by 30 inches. Enjoy. Hope it goes right. Anything that doesn't have eyes, I really find it difficult. R2D2, C3PO, Iron Man. So, this is my major worry about this one is that sometimes they can look a bit lifeless um, when they're just metal. So, anyway. So So, thought I'd give you a little update. Very little progress. The main reason I think mainly because I'm using all pigments that are quite weak. Red, yellows, which means you have to put a lot of layers over it and very subtle mixing to get the next tones. Don't think you can see it on this, but what I've done is I've painted... Uh, acrylic paint is glossy than, say, emulsion. So what I've done is I've tried to use mainly emulsion on Dorothy to keep her matte, and then on Iron Man, uh, slightly glossy and um, I don't really think you can pick it up 
on the camera orb. There's a slight shine to it, not very much. Things are working, I think eye mask bodies are gonna okay. I think this bit here is a bit too harsh, but I'm gonna put a lot more black into it and push it back. His face, I think I need to highlight the end way more, to find the plating. Um, his hands, which are the hands of Tin Man, not Iron Man. Finally, he's got quite floppy hands, and I kind of like the the movement that they have. The legs, which at the moment are way too thin. Um, and then I got to get on with her dreaded dress, which I'm really fearing because it's all checkered. So I've kept Dorothy in skin tones, but very light skin tones, very sepia. I kind of wanted her to look. You know, when you see black and white films that have been recolored, that sort of look. I wanted it to look old. So as well as the contrast of funny parody or the funny mashup. I wanted to very much contrast the two eras um, and have still have a kinetic a connection between the two with her arm on his shoulder. I think that's working quite well. I do like her face and I like her expression. Ah, anyway, let's keep going. painting. Iron Man's arm was all done. Dorothy's dress was all done which took ages trying to get checkers in. I asked for suggestions for names on um, Facebook and we've got uh, we're not in New York anymore and the wonderful world of Stark. Two plays on it. I think I'm favouring the uh, New York one at the moment but it's not. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not in New York anymore. So we've still got all the detail to add to Dorothy's face, the eyes, the black for the eyes, the lips, uh, lots of hair definition, a touch of definition in the dress. Iron Man, nearly there, do lots of definition, so I'll use a black marker for that just to define all the armor plates. Not sure to do with the background. I do like the green. At the moment, I've sort of got this like comic book shading with the black. So it's shading it, but it's it's got its own shapes. I think once I've done them all, I will outline both of them completely in black. Um, and see how that works. All good things takes us some time. Let's get this bit done. Keep us apart 
words can explain how happy I am with this paint. It has come out exactly how it was in the old noggin. I think the mashup works really well together. It's not offensive, it's funny, it's charming. It mashes up old cinema, new cinema, comic books. I'm really happy with how this has come out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a bit long, but there was a lot to fit in. If you did enjoy the video and like the paint, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, I know everybody says it, but it, it really does uh, mean a lot to people when you do that, and it's just clicking a button. Please let me have some feedback down below. Let me know what you think about the mashup. Let me know if you think it works, if it doesn't work, what could have been done differently. If you have any ideas for mashups, leave them down below. If you have any ideas for paintings, leave them down below. I think I've gone on for quite long enough. I shall see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, bye.